Hey there everybody, JB here um, with a World Cup update. Obviously I'm not commentating on the matches tonight, obviously I'm in all of them. As you can see I'm in the hotel room, um, so I'm getting ready to go to the 40th. Um, uh, the reason why I'm not dressed up yet is because it's a bit early. So I'm just wearing my bare jet so I think I'm going to do the top on top 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 because I just don't like the top top being I don't know why it is. There we are, it's better. Better, doesn't it? So the big news so far in this World Cup, France are through 4-3 in an absolute thrilling game. Uh, Argentina scored three times, but again their defence was very, very deep. Am I surprised Argentina are going home? Not really. I thought they were poor throughout the tournament. I commentated on one of their matches when, uh, and I felt, uh, in my own humble opinion, they weren't good enough against Croatia. Uh, I thought they should have been out in the first round, to be quite honest with you. I, I thought they were very, uh, I thought they were very, very lucky. As for the French, I think they started getting. I mean, it, it could be the day where Kylian Mbappe comes of real age because this guy is outshot everybody. He outshot Messi. He even outshot his own team. You know, Pogba and Messi and all that lot. Sensation. It was just a game that had everything in it. Four three. You couldn't. Terrific goals. Deflected goals. Controversy. We had a finish to remember, we had the lot. Um, so, I mean, it's been, a, it's been a great tournament so far for the for neutral. Tonight, Uruguay play Portugal, beat Suarez against Ronaldo. Uh, and I'm hoping, because I've got a work fantasy football team on at the moment, I've got Ronaldo on my side. Um, I haven't got Suarez. Uh, Suarez hasn't really turned up yet, he has scored in the last game. Uh, but Ronaldo's got four. Um, Done all right. He's done okay. He's uh, shown us in that department. But we don't just want the World Cup to be a uh, Messi against Ronaldo or Ronaldo against Suarez. We don't want it to be like that. Um, Uruguay is very good. It's very good defensively. I mean, Gordon has been an absolute rock at the back. Um, he's not conceded anything at all. You know, very mean defensively. They don't concede goals. Uh, Cavani and Suarez have a really good strike force there. Could it be their year? Uh, Portugal, the question has to be asked, did they peak too soon in the first couple of games? Because, I mean, that, I mean, did Ronaldo in fact peak too soon? I mean, he, he set the standards in that first game against Spain, didn't he? Um, but um, I'll tell you what, whoever gets through in that one will have a massive, will have a terrific quarterfinals because the winners obviously play France. So, what an opportunity for, well, I've no sympathy for Argentina. Uh, they struggled like hell against Iceland. They struggled like hell definitely against the Croats when they should have lost by more than a three. But um, yeah, I think they're boarding well. I'll be back on World Cup Commons tomorrow on the JB Clark YouTube channel. I uh, hope you can join me and Chris and everybody for the faster stages of the tournament. Um, um, obviously, we can't do all the games, obviously. Um, that's why we've been a bit sparse. I'm back at work, Chris is at work, everyone else who has been working as well. So we've been all busy, but hopefully we'll get back on the commentary show in the next week or so. And uh, hopefully we'll bring you the closing stages of this World Cup. But uh, that's it for me. I just thought to give you a quick update on what, uh, what I thought of Argentina's exit. Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy your Saturday, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.